We need to find the rate of change between the variables for the equation y equals 8. And since the directions tell us that we're looking for the change between the variables, we know that this is going to be a two-variable equation that can be graphed on a coordinate plane. And we're looking for the rate of change for both of the variables. And notice that in this equation, y equals 8, we only have a y. But we know there's an x in here somewhere, and what this tells us, since we can't see x, is that x must have a coefficient of 0. And what we need to do to find the rate of change of these variables is make a chart that shows the relationship between x and y. So here we have the equation. Notice we've added in the 0x so that you can calculate the values for y. And what we've done is plugged in the numbers 0 through 3 for the x values and then come up with the matching y values. When we plug in 0 for x, that gives us 8. When we plug in 1 for x, that gives us 8. And you can see that no matter which number we plug in for x, we always get 8 for y, because the coefficient of x is 0, and anything times 0 is going to be 0. So now we can look at the rate of change for the x and the y. For these four coordinate pairs, you can see that we are adding 1 each time to x, and that the change in y is 0 every time, because like we just said, no matter what you put in for x, the y value is always going to be 8. And in a case like this, if y doesn't change, then the rate of change for this equation is going to be 0. Now that we've found the rate of change of the variables, we have the final answer to problem 13, 0.